Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would sit down and film a haul for you guys. I just got back from a 10 day trip to Japan with my boyfriend. Um, we spent five days at Disney and then five days in Tokyo. So I bought a lot of stuff while I was there and thought I would share it with you guys. One of my favorite videos to watch before we went away was Disney hauls because I got to see a sneak peek of all the merchandise that I got to buy and knew sort of the things that I wanted. I bought quite a lot from Disney, so I'll start with that. Um, most of the things I wrote down the prices or they still have tags on because that's something that I really like when they include prices so that I've got a rough idea. It will all be in yen just because that's what's on the tags and then that way you can like convert it yourself no matter where you're from and I thought it'd be really good to do it because I watch a lot of Disney hauls and most of them obviously are the American parks and there wasn't quite as many on the stuff you could get in Tokyo so I guess I'll get started I've got a lot of stuff to show you so the first thing I'll show you is the popcorn buckets I bought so popcorn buckets are huge in Japan and they're like an accessory that you wear around the park so the first one I bought was the Cinderella's um, carriage. <laughs> don't mind my phone, I'll just put that on silent. So this is one of the things that I actually don't have the price for because it didn't have a tag, but I believe I paid around 2,400 yen for them. And that was including the popcorn inside. So this one came with honey popcorn and was near the Winnie the Pooh ride. So it's just, yeah, Cinderella's car carriage, sorry. And then it opens up. And you put your popcorn in there and then it's got like a um, like sash so that you can wear it which is really cute and then I almost wasn't gonna get it I just wanted the Cinderella's carriage originally but then when I saw it in the park and saw everyone wearing it I was like I have to get the Dumbo so I got the Dumbo one as well and he's really cute his ears move and again I think this was about 2400 yen and I absolutely love him he's so cute so I'm gonna use these to put all my coins and money in and stuff to hopefully save enough to go to a different Disney park soon. So I'll start with, obviously I'm going to start with the stuff that we got from Disneyland. So we also got this jumper. So it's like a round neck jumper. It's just got Mickey on the front. And this is another thing that I don't have the price for because Ben actually bought it to like wear straight away. And if you buy it to wear, they like cut the tags and stuff off for you. So this is something I have no idea how much it cost, but we weren't really a big fan of the clothing. Like it was really cool. Um, it was really bright and colorful what they did have, but we just knew that at home we were never going to wear it. So there was no point wasting our money on it just to wear it in the parks for a day or two. But that was really good. So Ben actually bought that because he was a little bit cold one night and he knew that I would wear it afterwards. So <laughs> that was a bonus. Uh, the next thing I've got is this hat which I absolutely loved and I wore it a lot when we were in the parks it's just really good because no matter what it's really hot and your hair would get messy from like putting it up and down and stuff on the rides so this was a lifesaver I believe that was I want to say 1600 yen that's another thing that they took the tag off straight away because I was gonna wear uh, then we have this cup, which is the Cheshire Cat Cup from the like Queen of Hearts Banquet Hall restaurant, which I really love. Um, so that was one that you could like buy with your drink. And then the next thing I got is this Minnie Mouse pass holder. Now this was a lifesaver. This is something that I bought as soon as we got into the parks. Like it was the first thing I bought, and it's so good because it's got the straps. So you just wear it around your neck, and then it's also got the like clip so you can clip it on your bag and when you're there you kind of need all your stuff handy so you could put your like park tickets in here your monorail pass um your fast passes and it was just so easy because they were so easy to get to and that i believe was 1700 yen next i have some rose gold mini mouse ears they're really cute the bow's a bit messy from my travels all right so the rose gold is 1600 yen I got a souvenir medallion collection folder. I, at the very beginning, was like, no, like, I'm not going to collect them. They just end up lying around. I don't need them. But that quickly changed. <laughs> so each of these was 100 yen. And it's just like a pressed coin. 
Um, yeah, I got quite a few and I actually have a lot lying around from like other random little holidays we've been on too. So I thought that was kind of cute and I can put them in there as well. So, and this one cost me 1,800 yen. I also got this, which I absolutely love. So it's like a schedule. Um, so this one cost me 1,700 yen. And the thing that's really good is, sorry, I'll open it. Um... It actually starts in October of this year, so it's September now, so I can actually start using it from next month, which I thought was really awesome. And just the fact that every time I write in my diary, I'll be able to remember Disney, and it's really good. It's a good size too, because I can actually like keep it in my bag, and it won't get in the way. Next, I got this. So we actually got this from like the photo shop, which was... Like right out the front of the park and this was 900 yen and i'm really excited because it's actually my birthday in four days so i'm gonna wear this to work i like work with children and they're gonna love it and i'm really excited to wear that next i've got so we got a bunch of different ears so we got another pair of the rose gold ears these are all gifts for my nieces and nephews so again they were 600 yen um 1600 yen we got like the um Mickey is with a hat for my nephew, and that was 1,200. And then we just got the mini ones, but with the pink sparkly bow, which if I block my face. So they were 1,400 yen. I got this Winnie the Pooh headband, which I thought would be really good for like putting on my makeup and stuff in the morning, because I always like it out of my face. And this was another thing that I really had to restrict myself and only buy one because they had them for all the different characters. This was 1,500 yen. And I just love this so much. It'll be perfect. Uh, then I got... Oh, so in this bag, I got a bunch of different pins um, on the trip. Pins aren't quite as big in Japan as they are um, in the States. So I obviously got the classic... Disneyland one which I love and then I got the um, Dream It Up Parade one because I absolutely loved the Dream It Up Parade oh, so this one was 1000 yen the Dream It Up one the Disneyland one was 800 and then I also got the Big Thunder Mountain one because that was one of my favourite rides that's going to focus so I got that one and then, oh, I'll show you this one too. I also got the Disney Sea one, which I actually bought from Disney Sea, but you could get it at Disneyland as well. It was actually easier to find at Disneyland. Like, I didn't buy it when we first went to Disneyland. I was like, oh no, I'll buy that when I go to Disney Sea. And then I actually had to like hunt it down at Disney Sea. I couldn't find it anywhere. And that one was also 800 yen. I also got these little stud earrings. So they're just little Mickey Mouse heads and they were 1,850 yen. So the last thing in my bag from Disneyland that I got is actually a Pandora charm. So it's a Disney Parks Pandora charm and I got the first visit one. So on one side it's just got like first visit and there is Donald, Mickey and Minnie and then on the other side it just has the castle. So this was the only one that I actually got from the parks. I thought that I'd get more, but they didn't have that many and no like park exclusives or anything that I could find. So I just got this one and I love it. The only thing is it doesn't actually like fit on my bracelet. I'm not sure like why normally how they like twist on. It doesn't, it just slides right on and off. So I'm not sure about that, but that's all right. I still love it. So that is everything that I picked up at Disneyland, like from the actual parks. At our hotel, they had a shop, which was really awesome. So they had everything there that you could get in the parks. So rather than having to buy everything in the parks and lug at home, we could just buy it from the shop at the hotel, which was really good. So I kept that separate just so you could sort of see what I got from there. But you could get all this stuff in the parks as well. All right, the first thing from that one, this has actually already been a little bit chewed on. This is a dog toy. So we got this for my dog. And it's just a Mr. Potato Head and it's really cute and it's got a squeaker in there somewhere. I don't want to disturb her. And that one was 1,296 yen. So that was a weird price. Sorry if I forget some of the prices. It's hard to remember to say them all. 
Uh, the next thing that we got was this tin of chocolates. So this is really pretty. It's the 35th year um, one, which is really cool. And this was 1,600 yen. So we actually got this as a gift for my mom and for Ben's mom. We also and dad. And then it's really cool because anything, I'll show you the inside. They're so pretty. So anything that you buy, like um, chocolates or biscuits or anything, on the display, they'll have next to it like a tin that's open and then like an example of what's inside, which is really helpful so you actually know what you're getting and what it looks like. So that was really cool. So we got two of them. I also got these two tins as well, just for me. Um, I haven't actually opened them yet, but this one has just like little chocolates inside and this was 750 yen. And then this one has some cookies inside and this was also 750 yen. So I really like the little tins. They'll be really good to just like keep things in. I've got just a bag of like caramels. This is for the kids at work because I couldn't not buy them something. So that was 490. I got this. I actually got three of these because I loved them so much. I got all Dumbos so that me and the people that I got them for would match. So if you can see, it's literally like a miniature version of the Dumbo popcorn bucket. And they've got these for most of the popcorn buckets that they have. And they're so cute. So they actually even like open up so that you can put something inside. And then the chain is just like fake popcorn. And I just thought it was so cute. They have so many... Just clever things like that that you wouldn't think of. So I loved that that I bought, yeah, three of them. <laughs> Frankie just came and grabbed her Mr. Potato Head toy from me. So something that was really, really special and Ben actually bought for me was this Minnie and Mickey. So they are dressed in like a little wedding dress. And the reason that he bought me these is because we actually got engaged while we were there. So let me get that out of the shot. Oh, it's not going to focus, but we got engaged while we were there and it was really special. So this is something that we can keep forever to remember that and maybe even have them at our wedding one day. And it's really cool because they sit together, but they're just like magneted together. So you can, yeah, have them apart, but then they like sit really nicely together. Something else that he bought me because he thought that I had to have them. I was really trying to not buy too many stuffed toys because I love teddies and stuff, but... They really just sit around and collect dust, so I don't use them. But he saw these and said that I had to have them because they were just perfect. So first we have, oh sorry, and the, the wedding Minnie and Mickey were, let's see the price, 4,800 yen. And then, yeah, so these are the two that he bought me. So this is Minnie in like her beautiful little party dress, if you can see. And then on her foot, which one is it? It's got the 35th anniversary thing. And then you've got the matching Mickey as well in his little costume. And so these are both for the 35th happiest celebration, which was going on while we were there. And they're both so cute. Um, and each of those was 5,000 yen. So they were probably one of the most expensive things that I bought actually. Well, Alright, so the last thing that I have in that bag, which was from the hotel, is this little t-shirt. And I just got this for my nephew. So it just has um, Tokyo Disney Resort on it. And then on the back it's got just a little simple. And it's good because it's got the buttons, which is, oh, which is always good with kids. So you can get over their heads easier. And how much was this? Oh, it doesn't say. This one was... 1,900 yen. Sorry, I've like written down the prices next to me for the ones that don't have tags, so that's why I'm looking next to me. Something else that we actually picked up from the shop at our hotel was ponchos, cause one morning it was raining when we woke up, so we quickly raced down to the store and they had them there, which was really good. So we both just got one. Um, I got Minnie, Ben got Mickey, and they were both 1,300 each, so that was good. It just kept us dry. And it was actually what we were wearing when we got engaged, which was really cute because it was pouring down with rain when we got engaged. So I will move on now to Disney Sea. So we we both absolutely loved Disney Sea. The theming and everything was just amazing. The way it was set out was beautiful. So 
So at Disney C they have the like Duffy and the Shelly Mae and all those teddies and I absolutely fell in love with Shelly Mae. She was my favourite. So I got a few things. So the first thing I got was this backpack. It's so cute. It's just the perfect size to actually use this for our whole holiday even after we were in Disney because it's clearly Shelly Mae but it's also a little bit subtle. So it's just got the bow and the ears and then it's got one big pocket and then one small pocket and the little like things are really cute so I absolutely love this and I'm going to use this as my backpack now that we're home and this one costs 4,500 yen the next thing that I got that was Shelly Mae was another pass holder I actually wore this pass holder more than my mini one which I was surprised but it just went with every outfit and it's super cute um, the only thing with this one is it doesn't have the like clip thing to clip it on your bag which I mean I didn't use it anyway but I think it would have been good if it did have that and then the last thing I got that was Shelly Mae was an actual Shelly Mae <laughs> so she's super cute I didn't get an outfit for her because the only ones they had at that time were like pajama ones and I just wasn't really a fan so I just liked her like this and she's super soft and cuddly and her headband's actually like elastic so you can take that off if you want and then she's got her little feet which are like little mickeys which are cute and then she's also got one on her butt and that one was 3,900 yen so that's everything that I bought that was like Shelly Mae or Duffy related we got just like a little hand towel while we were there it's um got genie on it which is cute and that was just really good to carry around with us because it was really like hot and muggy so it was really nice to just have this to like wipe your face or whatever. I got this for my nephew. So it's a little Donald. And I got him from Mermaid Lagoon. And he's got like um, a snorkel and goggles which is really cute. Because my sister and her family live near the beach. So they're always at the beach. And that one was 2,200 yen. And the last thing in this bag is I got this salt and pepper shaker. So... It's Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. And it's just, yeah, a salt and pepper shaker, which is really cute. And that was 2,000 yen. What else did I got? So that's everything in that bag. Oh, yeah. So the last thing I got from Disney Sea was a bunch of different, like, cups and stuff. So I got this glass, which is probably not going to show up very well if my face is in it. No. It's not going to show up. But it's all been like hand engraved and stuff so it's got Minnie and Mickey in their Happiest Celebrations costume and then it just says 35 Happiest Celebrations Tokyo Disney Resort I just got one of them and that was really I really liked that cost 2100 yen you could actually get like your name or something engraved on the back if you wanted but because we bought it towards the end of the day and we weren't going back to that park it was just going to take too long and we couldn't be bothered waiting so that was really cool and then the last thing I bought was a bunch of these like plastic cups you will see them all in a minute so I got this Winnie the Pooh one and these were all 1000 yen so I fell in love with these they're like the brightest colors so I got Winnie the Pooh I got Daisy I got Donald I got Stitch I got the green alien and of course Mickey and Minnie and so they're all just like really bright colors and then on the back it's got um, Tokyo Disney Resort that is everything that I bought from the parks while we were there next I will go on to what I bought at the Disney stores so Aspiri which is like the shopping center along the monorail line they had a Disney store there and then we also went to two other Disney stores we went to one in Shinjuku I think that's how you say it and one in Shibuya Shibuya um which is like the three-story one which is really cool that you'll see in my vlogs so from the one at Aspiri we got I got these little like pens so they are Mike Wazowski and Stitch and they like spin around which are really cute and it um I also got two different face masks which are really cool so when you put them on your face you actually like look like them i think they're going to be quite scary once i put them on my face so 
So I got both of them from Esperi and then most of the stores pretty much had like the exact same stuff. But because we got engaged on the very last night that we were there, I was looking for like a little dish or something to put my rings in when I shower um, or sleep and stuff. And I couldn't find anything. And then I'm really glad we went to the last one because I managed to find this, which I hadn't seen at any of the other stores. So I got this little box. It's just this little box and it's Little Mermaid inspired. And it's just absolutely beautiful. So I thought that would be perfect to just like sit on the bathroom bench and be able to like put my rings and stuff in there and I absolutely love that. So next I will show you guys what I picked up uh, while we were in Japan. I didn't buy too much stuff because we'd been to Disney already. My suitcases were really really full and I'd already crammed as much as I could into Ben's suitcase as well so I just bought a few bits and pieces. The first thing I bought was some shoes. I just got these pink bands. They were a really good price. I'm not really sure on the price of any of this stuff. I've forgotten and because some of it like the tags were one price and then you had to add tax and stuff like that. So it was a bit confusing. But I got those. I also got these shoes. So I just got a pair of white Nikes. These were also like a really good price compared to at home which is why I bought them. I got this little mini Snorlax, which is super cute. So we went to the Pokemon store that was near Skytree and I wanted so much stuff. I wanted like all the stuffed toys there, but I just didn't have room in my suitcase. So I just got this little one. I got, I brought home like a bunch of just snacks and stuff that I picked up from the convenience stores. Some of it you would have seen me probably trying in my vlogs cause every time we went out, I'd buy something to try. So I just got some chocolate, so some milk chocolate, some white chocolate, and I believe these are like little chocolates with biscuits in them. I got some Halloween candies, which I thought would be good for work, um, to give the kids Halloween. I got these, I actually already tried these, just some strawberry chocolates. I also tried these and these were so good. And my family's all coming over tonight to watch pizza and like go through the photos and stuff. It's like a tradition when one of us goes away. So I'm gonna put some of these snacks out on the table for them to try. And then I just got these little like gummy candies. So I think that's all the snacks that I bought. I also, oh, I got just like these little snacks too that we won in like a claw machine game. Oh, I also got some Kit Kats that are like Halloween which I thought I would save again for the kids on Halloween at work. Okay, one more candy. And I got these as well. They're just like Disney candy. I'm not actually sure what they are. They're like three different little packets. I think they're probably like Smarties or something like that. <sighs> what else have I got? I got this little Mickey Mouse like ghost statue, which is really cool. It's actually like a plastic. It's got... Again, I think it's got candy inside. Um, and it's got like a little slit in the back. So I guess you could use it as a money box if you wanted. I got a pin from Hard Rock Cafe. So we went there for dinner. And it was actually really good. The waiter that we had there was probably the nicest waiter we'd had the whole trip. And the service and everything was amazing. We got a bandana. That was for Ben. And then I got this for Sunny. Can you see it? it? says, my first Hard Rock Cafe t-shirt, Tokyo. And I thought that was really cute. So I got these little pens. So they're just ice cream pens. And they've got magnets on it. So I'm going to take them to work to put on our shopping list on the fridge. Uh, I loved all the like cheap stores over there, but again, I just didn't have room in my suitcase for things. But I bought these little like mini plastic cups, so they're really cute. They're Hello Kitty, and then they actually have like the lid and then little pink straw. So that was a bit of a silly purchase, but I just thought they were really cute. And what else? I got a couple things from like they've got these little like machines everywhere that have little like toys and stuff in it. So in one of them. I got a pin, it's just a little train pin, which is cool because their trains are really good over there. I don't know if it's going to focus, you can kind of see it. Um, yeah, we were really scared, we were really scared initially of using their trains because we were a bit like, oh gosh, like how lost are we going to get? But 
it was really easy, especially the um, Tokyo Metro, which is what we caught most of the time. It was super easy with Google Maps. It told you exactly like where to go, when to get off and all that stuff. And then I also in another one got this little, it's like a little pokey machine and it's actually um, Pokemon, which is cute and it like works and everything. It's an Eevee one. I got another Pandora charm just from like a normal Pandora store and it's a Mickey Mouse one. It's actually not a, um, it's actually one of the like clasp ones. So I thought that would good. I got that to hold on my other one that just like falls off if it's not on properly. I also decided while we were there that I was going to start collecting the Starbucks mugs. So I got a, you are here mug. So I obviously got the Japan one cause I was in Japan and that's really cool. And just like got all the different Japanese stuff on it. Um, the last two things I got were just from the airport. We had like a bunch of money left where well, we went through the airport. So I just grabbed like a heap of those candies and stuff I got from there on our way home. So I got these Hello Kitty chocolates, which are really cute. Everything over there is like gifted so well. So it's just like an assorted tray of chocolate so i thought they were really cute and again would be good to put out tonight when my family comes over and then i also saw these and i've heard about these before i'm pretty sure from other tokyo vlogs that i've watched um being like a really popular treat so i grabbed them and they're banana caramel custard cream which i think is like not the original ones but a different kind so i'm really excited to try them and that is it Oh, actually, no, it's not. Sorry. I also bought this jumper. <laughs> so I also bought this Tommy Hilfiger jumper, which I absolutely love. Um, I probably could have bought quite a bit more clothes, but I just didn't have the room and it wasn't that much different from buying there to buying it here. So I figured I may as well just buy it when I got home. But that is everything that I bought in Disney and then also not in Disney. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration on things that you might like to buy when you visit Japan. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.